This is Milo. He is a very small Yorkshire Terrier puppy, and this is his first appointment with me. He is clearly very excited to be here today. After he mauls me with his kisses, it's time for his bath. I am bathing him today using my Savior Fur Nozzle, because something tells me I might blow him away if I use my shampoo nozzle. Dogs like Milo that have hair on their face needs to have it properly washed. I hold his ears down using my hand and then I rinse over top. I am bathing him today in our Tearless Puppy formula. And once he is fully soaped up, I lather that into his fur. Milo right now is standing at a whopping 2 pounds. He is smaller than the shampoo bottle. And after his bath, I towel dry this little turd nugget. Before I dry him, we take a break for some much needed kisses. This adorable mini kangaroo decided that the only way I was allowed to blow dry him was if he had his two paws on me at all times. Today, he stole my heart. I love all dogs, but there's something about the gigantic ones and the itty bitty ones that just make my heart flutter. Since Milo is so small, I tried to brush him on my table without using the grooming loop. But this little guy was very fidgety, and I was worried he was going to jump off the table. So I put him in the loop for his safety. As you can see, he does some very quick movements. After I brush him, I clip his nails. He was not too fond of it, so he decided to turn back into his kangaroo stance. It's then time to shave his sanitary areas using my ten blade. To my surprise, Milo was doing pretty well with the clippers. I don't press my luck when it comes to puppies unless they are matted and require a full shave. Today he is getting just an introductory to grooming, so I'm just slightly tidying him. First, I use my straight scissors to tidy up his eyes. Then I use them to trim the tips of his ears. This will give him the signature Yorkie ears and make them look not so gigantic next to the rest of his body. The goal is to trim the tips of his ears very short and then fan it into the rest of his ear. And then I will gradually blend that into the rest of his face to achieve a round look. Now I'll spray him down in our champagne cologne, and this adorable guy is all finished. Keep watching for his before and after photos, although his before picture isn't very great because I couldn't get him to sit still. Thank you for watching.